Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me and for stopping by. It's Celeste here and welcome to A Crafter's Story. If you love creating um, from scratch with recycled, upcycled or scrap materials, I do a fair amount of that on this channel. So please hit that like button or subscribe button if you'd like to visit with me a little more and be notified hit the bell if you'd like to um, be notified when I put up new videos and I, I typically will load up one a week so this week I had um, some pieces of the cardstock it's a, it's a watercolor paper 140 pound cardstock and it has a little bit of texture on the one side and it's a little smoother on the other side and I had these pieces and I was going to do maybe a full art piece on here and I was like, eh, <laughs> I don't feel like it. I feel like doing something whimsical and, you know, just, just something, something. So this is what I came up with. And these are just little strips. Um, and you might think that I used watercolor paint here. And I did use paint, of course, but it was very, very watered down acrylic paint. And it almost came out as if it was, um, as if I used watercolor paint. It's just really, really runny, watery, acrylic, water-based <laughs> paint. Um, and so these little strips, I wanted to show you what I'm thinking of doing with them right before I do another another batch of these because I have another piece of paper left so um, what I was thinking oh this is turn it around this is a journal I'm working on and I have quite a few empty pages still so I'm thinking you know this is one that I cut off the end here and just ink the edges and it's going to make this really really nice tag a paper tab on the side over here so that's going to look really nice once it's once it's on the page and I think I'm probably gonna put it on this page I haven't quite decided but but that one um, that one looks good um, another idea I thought was to take a piece of scrap paper that I've got lying around I have a little bit of this embossed paper maybe um, placing this gluing it to the one side putting it on a page and then having that be a um, not only something decorative on the page but also just a little sort of slide in pocket to hold something here maybe just a sheet of paper so that's going to be nice um, then I was thinking what about a belly band so if, I think if I just cut off this last little piece here and I just um, place that in the middle it will be perfect to hold this very large or a very large um, little I shouldn't say little because it is large uh, journaling card so it's going to be really nice as a belly band on a page to hold something large like this and then um, the last thing I thought of and I'm sure there's a ton of other ideas that you guys will come up with um, these are just kind of in my head this morning is as a page edger and if I put this on this page I'm still allowing some of that lace from the the page where I've put it behind on the other side to to stick through so now I have a page edger with that lace sticking through so that that is something that um, I could use these strips for as well and of course once I painted them I doodled on them so enough talking from me I think let me close this up and take these guys away and whoop, almost that oh just caught it <laughs> it was almost on the floor so I'm using my um, water-based apple barrel paints and gosh guys you need so so little I think the biggest um, challenge is to put the least amount of paint that I can possibly put in from the bottle into this little um, palette. I think I'm going to use some green as well. And let's see if I get away with putting just a tiny bit in here again. 
Oh, I did it, I did it. <laughs> I did it. All right, a little bit of the flamingo coral. See if I can, if, I, if my... <laughs> did it. All right, two more colors, a little bit of the lavender sachet. I'm using a lot of this lavender. Um, I love lavender as a herb. I love lavender as an aromatherapy oil. So I guess it's only natural that I like the color <clears throat> as well. And a little bit of pink parfait. Um, see if I can, just a tiny, tiny little bit. That is all that you're going to need. And I thought the easiest way of getting the water in was to take a dropper and get some of the some water into each of these little oh draw up some water slice. <laughs> I just dipped it in, pulled it back out. I need to get some water in here. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to fill up these little holes. I think because the more water I've got in ratio to the amount of paint, the better and the more sort of water colory. <laughs> Is that even a word? I don't, I don't think that's even a word, but water colory. <laughs> we'll just use that. That um, I'm going to, that, that's, you know, the effect I'm going to achieve, I think. All right, so I think we've got enough water in there. Let me just... Um, Maybe get in a little closer. There we go. And I'll work this way. Maybe that was a little too close, eh? There we go. And I'll mix this up and get a little bit of blue out. I definitely don't want any of the paint, the solid paint, sticking to my brush. I want it all to be dissolved so you want you might want to spend a moment um you wash that off you might want to spend a moment just to really really get that mixed in and i think these colors are going to look really really nice together clean off the brush get some of this flamingo coral whoever comes up with the names of these paints just love the names <laughs> There's a pink parfait and a flamingo coral and um, what's it? There was one called brown oats. Um, just so th the names alone just make me want to use every single color every single day. <laughs> okay, I have watered this down so much that even when I'm cleaning my brushes, the water is hardly coloring, which is great. That's definitely something that I want. So, all right, last one. I'm going to mix this in. And um, I see now that the pink and the lilac are super, super close in their tint, in their hue. So I'm probably going to want to keep them separated by something a little more, um, something very, very different to either one of them, like maybe the blues and the greens. Okay, so... Just going to pick up some of the blue and you'll see it's still got quite a lot of pigment on um, even though I've watered it down so so very much and there's so little paint actual paint in this mix all right let's see maybe I can fit <clears throat> excuse me I might be able to fit four of these strips I only fitted three on my last one but I think if I'm careful um, I can fit maybe four of them and I'm staggering it only so that I can have um, like like these guys where is that other one oh it fell off it fell on the floor so you can see um, that I staggered this. Actually, you know what? I didn't stagger it. Okay, but I'm going to stagger it. I'm going to stagger it. <laughs> um, just to have them look a little bit different. So you live and learn. And here's the other thing, you guys. If you feel like this blue 
is too light and you want to make it darker you can wait for it to dry come back and give it another layer so <laughs> there is no I just like these really light very sort of whimsical fairy-esque colors right now and all right so I think let me get all these other colors in <clears throat> uh, so let's go with let's go with the pink
There you go, you guys. I think I am done. At least for now. There's always going to be something that I might want to come and, you know, add a little bit of something here and there. But I might actually do that now or I might do it later when I come to, to use these little strips. So the only thing that's really left for me to do is to cut them out and find a page in a journal or on a greeting card or somewhere on a pocket where I can use them but I am pretty happy with how they turned out um, when it came to doodling I tried really hard not to look at references and just to do whatever came in came to mind in the moment um, and that was very meditative so there you go all done Thank you so much for joining me and um, going on this little paint and doodle adventure with me. And I will see you next time. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video or perhaps the um, subscribe button as well. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.